devotees in Italy contacted me and told me that according to my plans to come to Italy, they were going to organize the biggest festival of the year, the Ratayatra, so that it would be at the same time I was there. So they asked me if I would confirm. So I confirmed. And then, a couple weeks later, after they made all the advertisements, they got permissions, they did everything, I received the most beautiful gift I ever, I think I ever received since Srila Prabhupada gave me his mercy. Someone hand delivered to me from Houston, Texas, an invitation. It was about this big. In fact, I think I have it with me. I carry it with me wherever I go. And on the front cover, there is Gidiraj, Sri Govardhan Shiva, about this big. And he's smiling very benevolently upon all who, who cross the pathway of his glance. And then I opened it up, and inside was a photograph that made me weep like a small baby. Would you like to know what that photograph was? Yes, ma'am. Who said yes? <laughs> what is your name? What do you want? <laughs> Happy to meet you. <laughs> it was a photograph of His Divine Grace, Tamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj, embracing me. And while he's embracing me, he has the most incredibly ecstatic smile on his face. And his eyes are glistening with love. After crying for some time, I read what was on the opposite side of the invitation from that photograph. And it was handwritten, personal invitations from Sarva Voma Prabhu, Shamsunda Prabhu, Chaitanya Chandra Prabhu, requesting me to please come here to Houston. So the only way I could come is to change my whole schedule, to change my whole life around. And since that photo had already changed my whole life around, I thought I may as well change my whole life around. So I sent a message to Italy that I will not be coming for the Rapi Yatra. I am going to Houston. Because the disciples of Tamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj have called for me. I consider that their calling for me is not different than his personally embracing me. Thus I surrender. And I'm here with you today as a result. It is said that Guru Tattva or the principle of Guru is when Lord Sri Krishna enters into the spiritual world and embraces us in the form of the association and instructions of the spiritual master. That is Guru. And just as Krishna embraces us through his representative, 
Similarly, we are embraced by the representatives of the Guru. So really, honestly, I considered your invitation to Malkrishna Goswami Maharaja's loving embrace and his merciful and kind invitation to engage in his service as the servant of the servant of the servant. I did not call Italy on the phone. I sent them a email. <laughs> but I explained why. And to my great happiness, they, they wrote back and said, whatever you do is all right. We understand. Actually, this is the philosophy of Bhakti. Krishna explains in Gita, Yogi nama pisarabe sham bhakate nanta bhaktana, shadavan bhajate yomam sume yukta mamata. That of all yogis, one who abides in me with faith, love, and devotion is most intimately united in me and yoga in his highest of all. To have a healthy, strong body, healthy, strong mind, healthy, strong intelligence, all fructifies in perfection when it is utilized to facilitate the ultimate purpose of love. The ultimate purpose of life is to love. That is the essential need of every living being. Ananda Mayogya Shat. Vedanta Sutra says every living being is seeking pleasure. Is there anyone here who does not seek pleasure? Physical pleasure, sensual pleasure, mental pleasure, emotional pleasure. Some find pleasure by reading books. Others find pleasures by looking for a, the opposite sex, same sex. Some find pleasure by fame, prestige, by winning athletic tournaments. Some find pleasure by hearing nice poetry, watching television. There are innumerable processes of looking for pleasure for the senses and the mind. But however many pleasures you have, life is empty. Life is not worthwhile if we don't have object to love. And if we do not feel love coming from someone. In America, because there are so many breakdowns of relationships with human beings, sometimes we repose our loving propensities in dogs or cats because somehow or other they don't, they don't have such complex disagreements with us <laughs> like humans do. for love. Why? Why we all have that in common? Because that is the nature of the soul. Within this body is consciousness. Just like within this house are people. Within an automobile is a driver. When the automobile is abandoned by the driver, the automobile is simply dead. It can do nothing. When there's a driver in the automobile, someone's seeing through the windshields, someone's turning on the lights, right, left, reverse. You can turn on the lights, you can turn on the radio, so many things. 